Today I'm going to be reviewing the DM556 stepper motor driver. If you want to use a stepper motor in one of your projects, you're going to need some type of a stepper motor driver to make the motor spin, such as the DM556 micro step driver. Now this driver is known as an open loop driver, which means there's no feedback or communication between the motor and the driver. That means the motor can potentially skip a step because the open loop driver has no way to correct for missed steps. Now the good news is that if you correctly set up this driver, the likelihood of this happening is very slim. The open loop drivers are also cheaper, therefore making them ideal for hobby applications. Now one of the nice things I like about this driver is it has these detachable terminal strips. That means I can attach and disconnect all of the wires without having to unscrew each and every one of these wires individually. The dimensions of the driver are also quite small. It measures in at four and three quarters inches by three inches by one and a half inches, which means I can easily get four of these into my CNC enclosure with no problem. One of the things I immediately noticed though when I got the driver is that it doesn't have any documentation, but that turned out to be okay because all of the information I needed is printed here on the top of the enclosure. The driver also has eight dip switches that let you set the current delivered to the motor and the number of steps that it takes for the motor to make one revolution. And over here there are two LEDs, one for power and another one labeled alarm, which really just indicates if the driver is enabled or not. This driver will accept an input voltage of 20 to 50 volts DC and it has a maximum output amperage of 5.6 amps. Now there is a switch on the dip switch settings that will let you set it to half current, which means that it can go as low as about 700 milliamps. 20 to 50 volts DC and 5.6 amps will drive most any decent hobby size CNC machine. The driver and the motors I used on my CNC plasma table are three amps and they do the job just fine and I've had no issues out of them whatsoever. It's always best to set your current to as low as you need to get the job done. This will help keep your motors running cool. So that's the basic rundown of the driver. Let's hook a motor up to it and make it spin. All right, so I've got the motor all hooked up. It is hooked to the driver and it is hooked into the a and the B coil here and then the power supply goes to the ground and the voltage all on this one little terminal strip. Now I'm using a variable output power supply and I've got it set to 24.2 volts and that is well within the acceptable range of 20 to 50 volts so that should power the driver quite well and I also have the driver hooked to my computer and the pulse pin, that's what they call the pulse pin, that's also known as the step pin. And probably in your software, like in Linux CNC, it's called the step pin. I've got that wired in. There's a direction pin that controls the direction of the motor. And then the enable pin. Now, I have noticed that there is, it's a little bit backwards on these drivers, that if you put five volts to the enable pin, that actually disables the motor, which would just seem a little bit backwards. You would think to enable the motor, you would add five volts to it. So that means that this connection really isn't required. If you don't hook this up to anything, the motor will always be enabled. Now, on the driver I've got wired in here, I've got five volts going into that enable pin, and you can see here this little, they call it the warning light, this little red light, uh, LED that is on. Now if I pull this plug that removes the 5 volts from the enable pins and you can see that the LED went out. Now this motor is enabled. It has got electricity and current running to it. So I've got the breakout board running to my computer hooked to the driver here and I've got the motor and the power connected here so if everything's set up correctly in my software in here, this motor should turn. So I'm going to go into my Linux CNC software and I'm going to tell the CNC machine to home itself. 
and that should cause the motor to start turning. And it does. So that means I've got everything all nice and wired correctly. And if this was actually on a CNC machine, this axis would be homing itself right now. So now I'm going to plug this five volts back into the driver. You can see the alarm has come on. I'm going to tell Linux CNC to home and let's see what that motor does. I told it to home and I can see on the screen that it is trying to turn the motor but nothing is happening because the enable pin has five volts to it. So that's the basic rundown on the DM556 stepper motor driver and I have got a link to this in the description if you want to pick some up for yourself. And remember, I'm going to be using these in an upcoming CNC project. So be sure and subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on that video. And if you like the video, please give me that big thumbs up. And thanks for watching.